Wombat here, and in today's beginner series, we're going to talk about having your first pack and how you can improve it. So, you've got your first guitar, in fact, you've bought a guitar pack. Now, in a guitar pack will be your guitar, um, usually an amplifier, maybe a gig bag for your guitar to go in if you want to carry it around, um, some picks, and one of these, a guitar lead. All right, so this is the thing we're gonna talk about today the most. Because I have a hack for you in order to improve the functionality of your guitar and your pack involving this, this guitar lead. Now these guitar leads, they're relatively cheap. Um, they often have the words uh, microphone cable printed on them, the ones that are included in the packs. Um, why? I don't know. But I'm going to show you a little hack that's going to improve the performance of this cable out of sight. So firstly, we're going to take one end and we're going to wrap, right? So we're going to twist our fingers and wrap it just like that. So we're essentially coiling it up. Now we do want to be careful about how we coil it. Um, we want to roll it and we want to make it relatively small. We're looking for a space saving with this lead. All right, so there we go. We've wrapped it all up. It doesn't have to be too neat, but you do want to be aware that you're going to try and save some space. But what you're now going to do with this is chuck it in the bin. That's right, chuck it in the bin. It is total rubbish, absolutely useless, terrible, terrible thing. In fact, it's probably the worst thing that's included in your pack. It sounds awful, doesn't conduct the signal from your guitar very well. In fact, you'll notice often with these kind of leads that there'll be a lot of um, handling noise, a lot of crackling and stuff when you move about or you, if you move the, the cable by hand when it's plugged into your amplifier. And they just sound awful. There's hardly any shielding in them. They will pick up all kinds of excess noise. Um, fluoro lights can make them uh, buzz. All kinds of things. The best thing you can do for yourself is to get rid of it, go down to your local guitar shop, and buy a new cable. Doesn't have to be expensive, but a new cable will just improve the performance of your guitar and your amp quite a bit. You won't get that handling noise and things like fluoros and things like that uh, won't affect it quite so much. So that's the first thing you can do in order to improve the pack that you have just bought. The other thing I would recommend you do with your pack is take the picks that you have got. You may have two, you may have three, depending on the pack. Go down to the uh, local guitar store and buy some more picks. Now the picks that will be included with your pack are usually pretty thin and flimsy. And that's okay to start if you like that kind of thing. But as a guitar player, you will probably lose more picks than you will wear out. So having more picks is always a good idea. You can never have too many. So go down to your local store and pick some more picks up. That is quite simply the best thing that you can do pick wise for yourself is just have a constant supply. They are things that we wear out, but they're also things that we really do lose quite a lot as musicians. So there you go, there's two, two tips for you to improve the pack that you've just bought. Get rid of the guitar lead, get a new one, and buy more picks. So I hope that's helped you. Um, we look forward to doing more of these beginner series. And um, as always, keep rocking guys. <laughs>